Yeah, I think it's been, it was a difficult year for us in many ways. Um, I think we could probably split it down into two halves. We were going pretty well up until Christmas. A uh, big game had a big effect on us financially. Um, and I think that really tipped the balance as well in some ways in terms of delivering consistent performances on the pitch. We, uh, we had some highlights in there, but we definitely know that we have got some um, big work on across both men's and women's. We've spent the close season reviewing where we think we got things right and where we know we've got to double down and get things better and improved on for next year. So I think, yeah, we look at it with, with a mixture of emotions. Um, definitely some work ons and we didn't, we, we, we pride ourselves on competing at the top end of the table. And I think we were in that fight for elements of the season, but we know we tailed off. Um, we know we need to focus a bit better for next year to get the best out of the group and to um, to sort of harness the, the capability and the technical capability that we've got in the squad and deliver top four rugby for this club. Again, that's been a part of our sort of review process at the end of the season. We were starting to look at where we were doing things well and maybe where we were sort of missing certain aspects of uh, key performance uh, deliverables through the season. Um, and I think it's really important that Look, we've got a really competent group of individuals in our coaching team in terms of technical capability, but also the characteristics and the behaviours and the values that they bring into the group. So I think for us as a club, it's about creating some stability within the group so the players continue to sort of feel that they're being um, developed and, and the trust is in there. But also it's about looking at the short term needs of the group and the, and the club in terms of having success now, here, today and tomorrow, but also looking at the long term and the medium term vision of the club. So we've repositioned people's skills and, and, and focus areas and uh, Billy's now going to be specifically looking um, after the, the men's programme in a sort of traditional director of rugby role. We've allocated specific roles and functions to the rest of the coaches where we think their skills and where their strengths lie. And Tabai, with immediate effect, is moving into a director of performance development role, looking after some really key important areas of, of the club's development around core, coach, uh, core uh, coaching skills, transitioning our academy players into first team environment, developing some of the key sort of areas of our game that we think are really important to us and how we play and looking at long term plans and partnerships, for example, under Scottish, where we know that's going to have a huge effect for us in the long term future of the club. So it's really exciting. And, and as I say, I'm pleased that we've managed to sort of look at what everyone delivers into the programme and, and I think now create a structure that should deliver success in, in, in next season and hopefully in, in the long term future for the club. Well I think first of all again we're in a position where another club has unfortunately um, gone into administration so our first thoughts are with the supporters of those of that club, the players, the staff, everyone that's been affected by that is that's extremely distressing. I think for us, first of all for us as a club we remain in a really strong position. Our owners continue to be really invested in what we're doing. We are developing the club at the, at the rate that we want to be. Commercially, we're going extremely, extremely well. We've had another really strong take up of our season ticket memberships for next season. We've continued to sell our games throughout the season. Everything, all the sort of, all the perspectives and the identity of how, as we go into next season looks really strong. So we are as in a good a place as we can be. But I'm equally cognizant that there is some macro pressure on the league. I still think the Premiership's one of the best leagues in the world in terms of the players that play in it, in terms of the quality of rugby, in terms of the t statistics that bear out how competitive it is and how close it is. So let's not lose sight about the quality and the value of the league that we have. We now need to re continue to reset, I think, between all the key stakeholders so that we um, deliver the best value that we can on the pitch and create the best identity of a sport that we can, utilising all of the assets at our disposal. And I guess the final word really is around, I'm completely aware of the fact that this will be another fixture that will place some pressure on from a supporter perspective in terms of the level of engagement that they feel they'll have with the club through the season. Just bear with us on that while we look at ultimately how the season is going to play out and, and what we're going to do with that. And we'll communicate back in terms of what that looks like and in terms of the sort of the overall identity of the season and, and, and what people's season ticket memberships look like. But we're, we're aware of it and we'll, we'll be communicating back as soon as we can on that particular point as well.
a lot of hard work in the summer. Uh, it's a particularly hot day today as everyone comes back in for pre-season. Behind the scenes, we've been working really hard through the summer as well, as I say. We don't immediately sort of down tools as soon as the season finishes, so we've been looking at our season review, identifying the pre-season plan, looking at ways in which we can get the club back competing a little bit higher up the table, so we're competing for silverware next year. We've had some player announcements, recruitment announcements across the women's programme. We've had some across the men's programme, some across the academy programme. We do do the lion's share of our recruitment earlier in the year. Um, but we're working hard on ensuring that we've got the best squad that we can have to take into next season. And I think we'll probably have a few more bits and pieces to inform our fans about in the, in the coming days. Um, and as I say, we'll be excited about the group that we've got that we can take into to next season across both programmes. Just another a, a huge amount of thanks, really, in terms of the gratitude to, th to them for the support they've shown the club over the course of the last season. Aware that we, we probably missed some of the keys to the targets that we set for ourselves. They're continuing to show a huge amount of faith and loyalty into the club at a, at a difficult time, as I say, on a macro rugby level, but equally when uh, when we would have expected ourselves to finish a little bit stronger in the season last year. So we're doubling down on how we can finish stronger next year. Their support is incredibly important to us. It always will be. So we never lose sight of that. So we're really appreciative of the continued support and we look forward to collectively going into next season and doing the very best we can and competing for silverware.